Hi everybody, welcome to Creative Studio Lumbicious. My name is Nancy and today we will be creating a magic bracelet. This is the one I made uh, before. This is my last tutorial I uploaded. Uh, we will be doing a dog bracelet this time, but I didn't make it already. So I will be doing this with you guys uh, at the same time. So if you want to see the end results of this bracelet, you have to fast forward until you reach the end of this video so you can check it out. And if you like it, then uh, stick around and watch this tutorial and have fun creating it. A magic bracelet is a bracelet like this. You can wear around your wrist, but you can also transform it into a cute tiny animal to play with. So. This is very cute and very fun to create. Not that, not that hard. This is a good uh, beginner project, I think. Uh, so, um, well, band count can be found in the description below this video. Uh, you can subscribe uh, to my channel uh, if you want to see more Loom videos or other hobbies I will try out. Um, um, then, then stick around and subscribe, uh, hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload another tutorial and uh, simply have fun being creative yourself. So let us start with this uh, dog uh, magic bracelet. I showed you guys the, the cats, but I didn't pre-made one, so I will be doing this right now with you guys at the same time. Um, this will be a three colored one. You can obviously uh, change the colors uh, to any color you like. You can use bright colors, but I will be using uh, caramel, white, and chocolate brown, and blue or turquoise for the eyes. Oh, and one black band for the snout. So, but you can find the band count below in the description. So let us start. I'm going to start with three white bands. Place them here. Then pick two dark brown. Three white again. Here. Then two white bands. And then three caramel or any other color you picked to use. Three white. And then two white. And then two caramel. And then three dark brown. And then two dark brown. Then I will turn my loom because the rest will be with double loop bands. So I will turn my loom for the last two. Grab a single dark brown band and double loop it on this pack. And do the same thing again, single double loop here. Cap off by using a single dark brown band and wrap it around twice. This will be quite loose, it's supposed to be like that. And then we are ready to loom. So get behind the cap band you just placed. You might need to hold it down with your thumb so you can stretch the double loop onto the next bag. Continue looming this entire row until you reach the top of your loom. We don't need to add anything here or create anything more. Only have to loom this apart. I missed one bend there. Oops. Mm. I do have to place them neat because it will look a little bit weird. If you don't, I won't, don't want my bands to get twisted already. So I'll just loom this one, then I will. Grab the next three, two, three again. Oops, make sure you grab the correct bands. I forgot here 
one here to grab another band of a different color. I will use my eye color bands. Create a slip knot and remove this part from the loom. I also forgot one here. I will tip this off. I won't do this over right now. Doesn't really matter if you miss one band or not. I'll clip this right off. If this happens with you, just clip it off. So this will be one part of the bracelet. This will be the tail part. And let us continue with the second part. Grab three caramel bands this time. Place them here. Grab two white. Grab three white bands. Two dark brown, then three white, three white bands, two white bands, three caramel, and then we will create the body. Grab two white bands. These will will be uh, with uh, two white bands all the time. So two here, two here, and two on the opposite sides. Then we go down on each side with two white bands. We go also in the center, of course, go down twice with two white bands at a time. Now close this figure by placing two white bands diagonally here and two here. Then grab three caramel bands, place them here, and grab two white bands again, place them here. Then we need two other white bands to create a horizontal band here. Otherwise this will fall apart in the center. I don't think we need to add any more. You, you can, if you want to, place one here also, but I won't be doing that. I will leave it by this one only. Um, grab the piece you just loomed. Turn your loom and simply get everything stick your hook through follow that tying off band so you can see you have all loops around your hook and attach it here at the bottom now we can loom this part so loom up grab all three of them and also loom upwards only grab the first two bands you come across, loom diagonally. Grab the next two bands you come across, loom diagonally. And you can also loom up twice in the center. But first we have to loom the outsides now. So loom up, loom up, loom diagonally. Same thing on the opposite side, loom upwards, upwards. Diagonally. Then continue looming the entire row until you reach the end of your loom. And then there will be a part three in order to finish this bracelet, but we are, well, more than halfway already. So loom everything up until you reach the end of your loom. Grab another single band to tie this off with. Create a slip knot, pull the bottom loop through the top loop, and remove this from your loom. You can remove this tying off band already. This will be the body, and like I already thought, you don't really need that other horizontal band. This will be enough. So put this aside for now. And let us continue. Yay! Grab two white bands and 
and place them on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pair here to the ninth. There. These are two white bands. Now we will grab dark brown bands to create the head. So place two here, two diagonally, two dark brown here. Then grab two white bands, place them in the middle row, place them there, place two diagonally here, place two diagonally there. Then grab your brown bands again, place them downwards, downwards, um, diagonally white again. And two here. Then grab your brown bands again. Place them downwards. All two bands. And two here. And two more white in the center row. Then we will close this figure by placing two dark brown here. And two dark brown here. If this was too fast for you guys, pause me and see how I place these bands. Grab three white bands and place them here. This will be the neck part. Like this. Now we are going to create some ears. So grab your dark brown bands or the color you used. Wrap that around your hook four times. And then grab three dark brown bands. Hold them with your finger, slide that piece onto there, approximately in the center. Let it hang on your hook. Grab a white band, wrap it around four times. Reclaim those three bands on your hook, like this. Then grab a single dark brown band, double loop that band, slide everything onto there. Like this, and we. Whoops! Oops! Okay. I broke mine. So I will grab another single dark brown, double loop it, and get everything onto there. And reclaim the double loop band on your hook. Like this. This will be one ear. Create a second one exactly the same. Leave it on your hook if you have another hook or use a toothpick to put it aside. And now we will create the eyes. So grab your eye color band. I will use uh, blue again, turquoise. Wrap one band around four times like this and another like this. Then grab two white bands. And slide everything onto there. And we can actually already place this. So place this here. Two loops here and two on the opposite side. Then we need to spread those eyes apart. Then you only grab two loops on one side. So these two. We're going to stretch it across here. You can even pull this over if you want to. You can also leave it behind it, but I will do it like this. Now we're going to create a snout. So grab a single black band, create a nose, wrap it around your hook four times. Then grab four white bands. And slide the nose part onto there. Approximately in the center, reclaim. This will be the snout. Grab two white bands. Get the snout part onto there. And we're going to place it on this bag and this bag. The snout will have to face upwards. So grab that snout and just pull it downwards like this. 
and a bit upwards after you did that. So it looks a little bit weird, but it, this is uh, the way it's supposed to look. Drop your ears and attach them onto these bags here on the corner of the head. We will push through those white bands later, so you will see it after you finished this cute dog bracelet. Another ear, get it around there. I kind of pushed it through here already. Um, grab your bracelet, turn your loom. <laughs> this looks really funny this way. Um, Attach it, make sure you have all loops there, attach it here at the bottom. And then we can loom. So go inside here and loom over those three white bands. Grab the first two bands you come across. Two. Loom diagonally. Grab the next, loom diagonally. Loom in the center, make sure that snout is in between the set you just loomed, so kind of pull it through. Um, then go inside here. This is a little bit tricky. It's quite tight. There are a lot of bands there, but make sure you grab the first diagonally placed bands you can loom. So go behind all those tight eye and snout bands and try to grab the first two. This isn't right. <laughs> this is really a bit tricky. So, I think I will just pull this around here, so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. I grabbed the wrong bands here. So I will pull them back again, but you have to loom diagonally. Because there are a lot of bands there, this is really tricky. Um, because I'm filming, I can hardly see what I'm doing. I really need to tilt my loom because the camera is practically in my face I hope I have the correct ones this time yes so loom over diagonally go behind those same bands again try to grab the next two bands and loom diagonally like this then you can loom upwards once again and I will release that snout now because I don't want it to snap. That was it. So a loom up the sides only once. And the opposite side. Then we go inside this pack, same thing. We need to loom diagonally. So grab the first two bands you come across, loom over diagonally. Same thing on the opposite side, but make sure you go behind those eye bands. Loom over diagonally. Don't loom over in the center just yet. That will be the last stitch we loom. So loom up the side. Loom up this side. Make sure you go behind all bands. I missed a band here. There we go. Then we can loom diagonally by the ears. Make sure you grab only the bottom two loops. This will be quite tight because of the double loop bands there. But you can manage. Loom over diagonally. Then we are going to loom this stitch here, the last stitch here, and then the last stitch of the bracelet itself. Um, grab a C-clip, you can already C-clip this part, if you want to make this bracelet longer, you can simply add more stitches here, you can do that manually, um, you don't have to do that on the loom. So I have a cap or a uh, C-clip there, carefully remove this from the loom and then we will shape this a tiny bit because it will look a little bit weird when you get this from the loom at first you need to pull out those eyes and fix those ears a tiny bit yay 
<laughs> this is the finished bracelet, but you, but you need to push through those eyes a tiny bit, so pull on them. Oh, so cute! Um, first push, push through those white bands we attached here in the center, so you can see them a little bit better here, like this. I know it will look a little bit weird, but we will fix that in a second, so push it through. And there we go, um, that snout is basically uh, correct there already. So this will be your dog bracelet, but there, there is a but here, you can move this, remove that tying band. You can either leave it like this, but if you don't like it, you can pull over. I will do this. You can pull over these two bands behind the ears. I think that will look a little bit better. So, oh, I have only one here. I see. Oh, I missed one here. Doesn't matter. Simply pull it over. Then I think it will look a little bit better. And you're done. This uh, is the bracelet, the dog bracelet we just created. So I will wear this to show you guys how it looks. So you can also see if you want to make this. I didn't pre-made this one. So there it goes. This is how it is around my wrist. This is a dog bracelet instead of a cat. I think it's very cute. So thumbs up if you also think this is a very cute bracelet. Of course I will also transform it into a little dog right now. So you can see how that looks. We have to pull through these bands, through these. Bands will be a bit tight, but you can manage pull it through and get the same colored bands approximately on top of each other. Yay. Oh, this is so cute! Pull through the tail, through the caramel bands here, and pull through until you reach the same color. Second time here at the rear. And this will be your transformed dog bracelet into a dog charm you can play with. Now I have a cat and a dog here. I think they're very cute. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial for the dog bracelet. Of course, I will remove the cat. And have uh, had fun creating it and uh, look forward to my uh, next uh, tutorial. I have no clue what it will be uh, Maybe a pencil topper. I'm not sure. I will see um, What is uh, cute to make and what will come to me and if I have time to design something different So guys, I hope you enjoyed have a great day um, Have fun being creative and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye. Bye